The design started uh, one year ago, or one and a half years ago, because we presented the car at the Mondial in Paris uh, last October. And uh, our brief was uh, to start with a specific architecture for battery cars. So this car is not a modified uh, uh, car we already had in, in the range. No, it's a specific architecture. Um, but again, our uh, main um, issue was to, to find a car which uh, pleases a normal customer. A real car, uh, not a very uh, futuristic car, a real car but electric. Uh, so we started uh, one and a half years ago. Uh, well, then the, the usual thing is that there's a competition in the design and we choose uh, this design because we felt it was, en français on dit rassurant, donc reassuring and uh, very sensual. And uh, also at the same time we developed a new front-end identity, which you see here. We showed also with the Desire on the Mondial. And, but for the first time uh, on uh, Zoe Preview, on a, I would say, more uh, traditional uh, 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 proportions. So uh, you have this uh, Renault logo, which is much bigger than before. It's more upright, it's on a dark black ground, so very well visible. And uh, there's a theme towards the headlamps. So this uh, f new front-end identity you will find on all the new uh, or coming uh, Renaults. Uh, it's not exactly, exactly the same. I mean, we try to find an interpretation for each car. As we have announced uh, at the Paris show, I mean, Zoe Preview is, well, we'd say 90%. Uh, uh, it presents the, the real car, the real production car. Um, so there are some differences. For example, uh, well, the, the headlamps are very beautiful here. We have the latest technology of LEDs, but well, due to, to cost reasons, we will have a more conventional technology here. Same for the taillights. So that's a difference. Uh, we won't have a, a very probably, we won't have a, a glass roof because uh, a glass roof, I mean, it brings lots of light inside, but it heats up the interior, so you need air condition for that, which takes electricity. So, well, we won't have that on, on this electric car. And then in the inside, we have very uh, expensive materials here on the show car, which we don't have in the production car, because one of the main aims was also to uh, introduce uh, an electric car, which is affordable for everyone. So, uh, Clio, uh, no, sorry, um, Zoe Preview will cost, well, about the, the equivalent of a Clio diesel uh, with a thermic engine. So it's, it's really a very reasonable pricing.